Hello everyone, welcome. My name is Sam Ring. Hope you all have a fantastic day. Today we're going to be talking about the uh, aftermath of the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix. And it's been interesting because obviously there's a new world champion in F1, but obviously what Lewis has d done is... Uh, Caused a little bit of a reaction afterwards, so let's check out what happened. So, first of all, there was a, there was after the pit stops, there was Lewis thinking, oh, I could back into Rosberg, and first Vettel and Verstappen to try and overtake him at the end. Hashtag never worked. But I am a Hamilton fan and I believe that even though the team ordered Hamilton to go faster, that in a way says that they're concerned of who will be champion. I think that obviously you get someone like Rosberg never won a title German for the German team you uh, get that but you know I think personally they would never they would never just like leave the race as it goes because they always have something just something to stick in the race to stop the two drivers crashing which never really happened or any chance of that happening was really slim so I I think that there are rumours flying around that back in Spain he said oh I quit I don't want to work I don't want to work for this team anymore and that caused a little bit of panic within the Mercedes camp which was interesting to say the least but obviously that is that's dangerous for Mercedes because there was a contract talk with Rosberg by then and they decided decided to uh, go ahead with it with what Rosberg said really and he like well he decided for two more seasons and yeah I think that will end up with 2019 but I, I seriously think if they are going to do anything, Mercedes. I, fingers crossed, I, I hope that they don't sack him or make him not drive for Mercedes anymore because at the end of the day, he was only slowing down Rosberg and that didn't cause any, any branding issues with Mercedes or that didn't do anything to harm Mercedes. That's just a little, just something little, just slowing down a little bit. Okay, I know it looked like loads of slowness, but I, if, I assure you that it was only a little bit slow. And yeah, as soon as uh, Vettel and Verstappen caught up, they were all like, ah, Lars. I need you to speed up now. Hi, I'm Paddy. Lewis, please speed up. And eventually, Lewis did go on the radio and say, Mate, I'm losing the world title. I don't give one toss about the victory. And yeah, I reckon it's awesome that Lewis cares so much. And that... If Lewis, think of this, if Lewis would have speeded up, then the race would have been boring, really. 
because let's face it, Verstappen, Ricardo, and Vettel would have just you know stayed behind Rosberg, and near the end of the race, it was like, oh, is is that basically? It was. It would have been terrible at the end of the race if they told if they like got Lewis to speed up, which he never. Which he never actually, thank God. And yeah, it, it's really shocking, but, uh, um, yeah, so congratulations for the title, Rosberg. The, I'm going to do another video of this, but in a uh, nutshell, 2016 has been a dismal year for Lewis Hamilton, which caused the uh, German to capture his first ever world title in Formula 1, which I'm guessing it's about time he got the title, Rosberg, but I reckon it was more to do with the luck and the amount of, fa amount of engine blowouts Lewis had early on in the season, including the Malaysia Grand Prix. So... Yeah, well done, Rosberg. You got lucky. Uh, next season's going to be interesting because of all the new rules and all that. And yeah, I reckon that's going to be it. That's my view on the whole Hamilton Rosberg issue. Um, do I reckon he'll stay stay at Mercedes? I reckon he'll have one last season with Mercedes then he will obviously jump ship to Ferrari. Because, let's face it, his next move ain't going to be Red Bull. It could be McLaren. It won't be Williams. So, think of this. If Wagner retires at the end of next season, Lewis would jump ship. Or... If Lewis goes to Ferrari and Vettel go to McLaren, um, Vettel go to Mercedes, because then you get an old German lineup then with a German team, and I reckon that'd be awesome for Mercedes. But for Lewis, I know he's like he's struggling to get to grips of where he wants to go in the future. He, he There was an open arms um, with, uh, with McLaren. The only options I reckon he has is McLaren or Ferrari, let's face it. And we'll have to just see how the sack, how he'll get, what reprimand he'll get. And yeah, at the end of the day, all this, in a nutshell, is that Mercedes are over worrying all the time, even though they captured the title and they will always get a 1 2 victory with Lewis Hamilton and Rosberg. And, uh,. Lewis never done nothing wrong. He didn't even cause a crash. He didn't even slow down. So it was like one mile per hour. Um, yeah, he didn't do anything wrong, Lewis. And he has my full backing. He, he is the best driver in the world. And he, I reckon, would... He would, uh, they the plonk his Mercedes if they got rid of Lewis. I hope they don't, anyway. So, nutshell, Hamilton done nothing wrong. Mercedes are plonkers. Um, well done to Rosberg for the title. Uh, yes. Unlucky for Ferrari and Rebel. Next year is going to be exciting, and that's it really. I'm just this is just going to be a little one. So uh, this is Sam Green. 
Hope you all have a fantastic day. Subscribe if you're new, if and if you like F1 and games and all that. Uh, like if you love the podcast, and I'll see you on another video. Peace.